Hey everyone, nice to see you all. We'll give everyone a minute or so to get themselves on. And then we're going to get ourselves started for today. I'm going to make sure you can see me and I fit on the screen. We don't want any of you guys not being able to see me today. That'd be very silly. Check if you can see me in my lovely, lovely yoga studio today. Hello, nice to see you guys that are joining me. Welcome back again. It's nice to have you all with me. Just going to make sure you can see most of the things going on around me. We're going to have a bit of a joint yoga today. We had a bit of a busy day here in SLK HQ today. So I'm going to have both my sessions in one. So we're under five, over five. We're going to have a fun time teaching our story, teaching our story, learning our story all about a bug's life. So we're going to give it another minute if you want to set up any of the yoga mats or things like that, please make sure you do. I'm going to make sure I've had a drink before I get started because otherwise you won't be able to hear me. And then we're going to get ourselves started Ooh, in about 40 seconds time. Very exciting, I'm looking forward to today's one. Lovely to have you all back again. Nice to have you all here. It's not so nice and sunny today, but it doesn't stop us from doing our wonderful yoga. Give it about 10 more seconds and then we're going to get ourselves all started. Five seconds. And let's pause my music there. Fantastic. And give you guys a big wave. Good morning. I say morning. It's not morning, is it? It's afternoon, silly me. Good afternoon, everyone. It's Coach Kaylee here back again for our yoga sessions. So for today's yoga, we are going to be telling the story of a bug's life. Now, some of you might have seen this film before. Some of you might not. It's one of my favourite films. I enjoy it lots. It tells you lots and lots about lots of different bugs and insects. And we're going to try and tell the story of that today. But before we get started, we are going to get all our shakes out. I'm going to find out who's joining me. And then we'll be ready to start our yoga. So let's practice our yoga breathing. Breathing in through your noses. And out through your mouth. Good job. Now this time, like normal for those of you that join me every week, when we breathe out, you need to shout to your names as loud as you can. Are we ready? Breathing in through your noses. Out through your mouths and shout your names as loud as you can. I can hear Lily, Jessica, Sienna, Max, Sam, Daisy. Wow, there's quite a few of you out there. But I'm sure there is even more. So let's breathe in through our noses. Breathe out and shout your names as loud as you can. Yuvraj, Zoya, Erin, Peter. Wow, there's a lot of you out there. Oh, we just heard Jessica as well. Going to give everyone a big, big wave that's joining in today. Hello, everybody. Now let's get our shakes all out. And we're going to tell our story of a bug's life today. So let's stand ourselves up and find your space on your mat. We're going to do our shakes of our arms and our legs and our whole bodies. Are we ready? Starting with our right arm, we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other leg, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, 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 one, Oh, I think everyone's going to sleep. I tell you guys, got all your shakes out. You have fantastic. Then we are ready to go. So today's story, a bug's life, happens on a small island. 
And on this island where the ants live, there is a really large tree. So we're going to stand up in our tree pose, try and balance. It's a hard one to start with. See if you can hold the balance. Well done, everyone. Breathe in through your noses and out through your mouth. And bring our leg down. Now, on this large island, there is a colony of ants. Now, colony is the name for a big group of ants. So, we have a colony of ants who are gathering lots of food. So, we're going to be like some more ants. We're going to go down, put our hands on the ground, and use our plank pose. We're going to walk our foot out the back and come up into our plank pose. Remember, we don't have our bottoms in the air, it's not a downward dog. Our hips aren't down, they're in the middle. So we have a slope. Like our ants. And yeah. our ants are gathering lots of food. They're gathering seeds and grain. Let's bring our legs in. Sit on our feet, put our hands by the bottoms. And we're going to use our child's place to look like our seeds and grain. Let the crouch all the way down into a little ball. Like our seeds and grain. Breathing in through your noses, out through your mouth, in through your noses, out through your mouth, in through your noses, out through your mouth. Well done, sit up into hero pose. Now these ants, we get to meet some of the different ants that live in this huge colony. And amongst those that are gathering all the grain is an ant called Flick. Let's stand up. Now obviously ants aren't as tall as us, but we're going to pretend we've been shrunk all the way down to the sides of the bugs. We're going to stand up nice and tall, breathe in, bring our hands into our heart space, breathe out. And stand like Flick, who is our inventor ant, and he's been trying to find new ways to help harvest the grain. But he's made a new invention that sits on his back and helps him to strip the grain and get the seeds off even quicker. But not all the ants are very happy about this. Can you put your hands on your hips? Show me a bit of an angry face. Because often Flick's inventions do not go very well and they cause lots and lots of problems. Oh dear, I hope this one doesn't cause any problems. And we also meet a very little ant. And this ant is called Dot. Now we're going to go into our squat pose and then turn our feet up to the side. Squatting down low, keeping our, our feet on the floor. Into our squat pose like Dot. She's a very small princess ant. She'll be third in line to the ant colony. And she really likes Flick and likes to support him. So this is Dot. And we also meet standing up again, Princess Atta. So let's bring our arms up above our heads into our extended mountain pose like our crown on our heads. So put it above and we're going to make our crown. Breathing in through your noses and out through your mouth. Now, Princess Atta and Flick, I think, might like each other. But they're not sure at this point. And Atta wants to try and support Flick where she can, but she's not sure about some of his different inventions. Let's bring her arms down. Now, all these ants have been gathering up their food stores, and they have made a huge pile of grains and seeds. So let's use our downward dog position to be like that huge pile. Reaching down to the ground. Feet flat on the floor, bottoms up. Now triangle position like our grain stores. But there's a bit of a problem because Flick has left his invention near the pile. And it starts to make it tumble. Can you lift one leg off and wobble it? And what about the other foot? And wobble it. 
and it's going to make the pile smaller. So we're going to bring one foot forwards, leave the other one back into our lunge pose. Going to get smaller. Oh no, and an even smaller, put your back leg down into a half lunge pose. And it topples all the way off of off of the stool and all the way down into the river. So can we tilt to one side as it tilts all the way down and it goes down into the river, into the stream. Oh no, so let's go down onto our bellies. We're going to be like the stream. We're going to lift up. We're going to move our legs and our arms to make us look like the stream. Breathing in. As we breathe out, lift up. And look at the stream that's taking away all of the grain. And come flat. Let's try that one more time. Breathe in. Breathing out. And coming back flat. Hands by our chest. Pushing back up to his side. In hero pose. Now, what I forgot to tell you was the ants weren't just collecting the grain for themselves. This big pile of grain had been collected for the grasshoppers. And the grasshoppers every year would come and take food from the ants. The ants would give the grasshoppers their food, and when the grasshoppers had gone, they would collect their own food for the ants to eat. Yes, but I think there's a bit of a problem, isn't there? Can you remember what happened to the pile of seeds? It's all gone. There's no food for the grasshoppers. And the ants don't even know yet. Because the ants have all gone back inside. So let's see what happens. Now our grasshoppers are going to fly in and arrive. So we're going to use our warrior three pose to fly like our grasshoppers. And then we're going to stand in our chair pose to look like our different grasshoppers. Standing on one leg, try and get your balance. Make sure to do big, deep breaths in and out. And see if you can stretch out into a warrior three pose. Like our grasshoppers, they're coming on in, they're flying on in. Landing in Ant Island. Now our grasshoppers, we're going to bend down into our chair pose, like we're sitting in the chair. We're going to give ourselves little antennas up on our heads. And the grasshoppers are a little bit mean. Yes. And they arrive and they have a little look around. They come looking for their food and they say to the ants, they have to show them where the food is. They are led by Hopper. So can you show me your big scary faces? Now Hopper's a bit of a mean grasshopper. He's the one that wants all the food. Now they're going to have a little look. So let's stand up in our mountain pose. Get out of little binoculars. I'll go in Madra and have a look side to side and see if we can see the food. <gasps> the ants have realised and they know that it's Flick who's made all the seeds disappear. So Flick stands tall and the grasshoppers have seen that there is no food. Now Princess Atta is very very good and she says that they will collect some more food for the grasshoppers if they can only give them a bit more time. Luckily Hopper agrees. So let's bend our knees back down as Hopper. Now Hopper says it's okay that he will be back in a few days time and he wants all the grain and the grasshoppers fly away. Let's turn to the side. And the grasshoppers are going to fly away. Now the grasshoppers have gone.
ants are not very happy. Let's go back into our plank pose like our ants and show me your angry faces. And they put Flick in front of their council. Let's sit in our hero pose. Now Flick gets told that they are not very happy with him. But Flick decides that to help out, he could go on an adventure and he could find some big, strong warrior bucks that can help him and the colony to defeat the grasshoppers. Now the council will have a think. Let's take a big deep breath in <laughs> and out. And they realise if Flick goes on this adventure, he won't be around to mess up their harvest. And so they say to him, off you go, go and find these warrior bugs. But they don't think he's ever going to find any. What do you guys think? Do you guys think Flick's going to find any warrior bugs? You do? Oh, some of you aren't sure. Well, let's see what happens. So Flick has to go off on a very long adventure. And he goes for days and hours. He keeps walking all the way till he comes to the bug city. And while Flick is having a look around, we meet some very different bucks. We meet some circus bucks. We do indeed. We meet a ladybird, a butterfly, a mantis, a caterpillar. And they're all under the circus with a flea. So we're going to start off being our little ladybird. Now to be our ladybird, we're going to go on to our backs and we're going to put our knees into our chest so we've got a little ladybird head now a little ladybird body and if we want to fly as our ladybird we're going to put our wings out now this ladybird is in fact a boy ladybird and his name is francis and he doesn't like and lots of people think ladybirds are all girls. We also need some wood lights. So for them, we're going to put our feet together. Make our reverse bound angle pose. To look like our wood lights. Now they're brothers and they fight a lot. We also have our butterfly and our praying mantis. And they work together in doing some magic. So we're going to see our butterfly by putting the soles of our feet together, arms in the middle like our butterfly pose. Well done everyone. We have our mantis. Now for him we are going to go onto our knees and we haven't done this one before but it's your rainbow pose. I'm going to get over to one side. Uh, and over to the other. Mm -hmm. Well done. Now we also have our caterpillar. He's called Heimlich. He's not quite yet a butterfly. We're going to get on to our tummy. Put our hands down by our shoulders and stretch up into our cobra pose like our caterpillar as he crawls along the ground. Let's come on down. We have our stick insect. So we're going to come all the way up, stretching up tall, like our stick set. And last of all, it's the owner of the circus, our flea. Now for our flea, we're going to go down onto our tabletop pose. Now our flea gets very annoyed with our bugs and kicks them all out of the circus. He kicks them all away. So all of our bugs have nowhere to go. They end up in a bath. They don't know what to do. They have no jobs. And can you remember my ladybird? Now my ladybird 
He's called Francis in the story. And he doesn't like that people always think he's a girl. And there are two flies that turn around and call him a girl. Now he gets very annoyed. And he decides yeah. to not be very nice to the flies. And at the same time, Flick is there. So let's stand up like Flick in our mountain pose. Now Flick sees what is happening and thinks he's found some warrior bugs whilst he sees all the different bugs fighting. And so he thinks, hooray! And he invites the bugs to come with him to his colony. Now the bugs, the circus bugs, don't have anything better to do. So they decide it sounds like a great idea. And they all fly over to the ant colony. So let's go to our warrior three pose. See if you can fly back. All the flying creatures help everyone to go back. Well done, and they arrive back in the ant colony. So let's be like our ants in our plank pose. And all the ants see them coming. And they get very excited. And when they learn their warrior bugs, they decide to throw them a big, big party. So let's stand up. We're going to celebrate. We're going to put our hands up really high in the air in our warrior pose. Stretch you all the way up, celebrating these warrior bugs that have come in. Turn yourselves to the side. Well done. Turn all the way around the other side, into the warrior two pose the other way, turning round, up into a warrior pose, well done. Now they are so happy that all these bugs are here, but then they find out that they are just circus bugs. And all of the circus bugs decide to leave because they think they can't do this anymore. So they decide to fly away. They don't want anyone to find out they're circus bugs. They can't save the colony, so off they fly. Let's go on the other side so you can balance in your warrior two pose. But as they're going, Dot chases after them. Can you remember our little ant Dot into our squat pose? And she has to hide from a bird. Now, luckily, the warriors save Dot. And they take her back to the colony. Now, during this time, Flick decides to leave. He gets kicked out of the colony because everyone has found out that the bugs are not warrior bugs. And he has to leave. But what no one notices is the last leaf has fallen off the tree, which means our grasshoppers are coming back. So let's fly back like our grasshoppers. And this time, Hopper has brought lots and lots of grasshoppers. So let's fly on our other side as well. And when the grasshoppers come down into our chair pose, they want to know where all the food is. And Hopper, show me your scary faces, isn't happy because there's not enough food there. He doesn't understand why they couldn't find any more. Now the ants don't know what to do, but Princess Atta has an idea. They have been building a bird to scare Hopper away. So they decide to use the circus bugs to put on a show and distract the grasshoppers so they can try and scare them away. So let's come on down and we're going to make our flower pose. And we're going to see if we can make the grasshoppers laugh at our funny circus show. Let's put the soles of our feet together. You can get your hands underneath. 
Lift up. Oh, I can't balance today. Lift up. Show me your hands. Pull some silly faces. Now the circus bugs do lots and lots of different acts. But when they see the butterfly's wings flapping, they all know it's time to go and get to the bird. So everyone, including all the little ants like Dot. You ready? Down into a squat pose like Dot. Go into the bird. And they fly towards Hopper. Now Hopper gets very scared. And he's about to fly away. But then our flea has returned. And you remember our flea that owns the circus? Now he decided he wanted the circus bugs back. He found them but got scared by the bird. And he sets the bird on fire by accident because it's just a pretend bird. Now this means Hopper is no longer scared. Standing up like Hopper. And Hopper wants food now. He is very, very mad. But then something very special happens. All of the ants start to stand up for each other. Because Flick, can you remember him? Stands up to Hopper first. He tells Hopper that he's not going to get the food that the ants are all more important than him. And all the ants start thinking, Flick is right. And they all stand up against the grasshopper. So let's be like our ants. And show me your serious faces. Show me your scary faces. And the grasshoppers start getting a little bit scared. Let's go into our chair pose. And some of the grasshoppers start flying away. And more and more ants stand up. And more and more grasshoppers fly away in our warrior three pose. Which leaves just Hopper. Now he doesn't seem very, very scared until he sees a bird. And he thinks this bird is just another one of their silly tricks. So he's not scared anymore. But you know what happens? Hopper gets gobbled up by the bird because it's actually a real bird. And all the ants are free of all of the different grasshoppers. And they are ready to live their lives and gather the grains all for themselves. Princess Atta is safe. Flick is safe. Yeah. And Dot is safe. They've managed to save the whole yeah. colony of ants. Down into our tank place. On their island. Um, and, um, and can you remember what's on our island? Uh, we finish our story going away from the island and seeing our big, big tree. Holding your tree pose, breathing in through your noses, out through your mouth, in through your noses, and out through your mouth. Well done everyone. Can you give yourself a massive round of applause. Thank you so much for joining me today. But I have a very important question. Have you guys had fun? <sighs> You've all gone quiet again. I said, have you guys had lots of fun today? Whoa. Thank you so much for joining me on our Bugs Life adventure today. I have had lots of fun telling our story and I hope you guys have too. Now, if you've got any photos of you guys joining in or practicing any of my moves, I would love to see them. You can send us an email, put them up on our Facebook page. It'd be great to see what everyone has been getting up to. 
But that's all from Coach Cody today. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you guys again soon. Bye.